fresh light is being shone on the value of New Zealand's tertiary education through a study at the University of Otago. It's focusing on students for a decade after their graduation and Dr Karen Tustin joins us to talk about the latest findings. Good evening. Good evening. Now what is the study about in general? Well basically we want to understand the value of a New Zealand university education and so to do that we're following a group of university graduates for 10 years to see um, what happens to them in terms of their career development and their employment um, and their health and well-being over a 10 year period. How many students are being studied? Well, um, we had about 9,000 students complete our first or baseline survey in 2011 and that's about a quarter of the 35,000 students who graduate from New Zealand universities each year and this is the same group that we'll follow for the next 10 years. Mm. What kind of things are you looking at? Well, the big question that we want to answer is uh, does a university education influence your life and if so, how? So a big focus is on um, employment outcomes and career development, but we also ask our participants a whole host of other questions, um, including about their general background, um, their experience at university, their own perceptions of the benefits that university might have for them in the future. Um, we also look at health and well-being, community participation um, and personal characteristics. Mm. So it's, it's quite a broad survey. Tell us what you've found out in relation to Maori graduates. Well this is the exciting part about the project. We can look at um, certain groups of students in a lot more detail and so recently we found that um, our Maori graduates are um, much more likely to be the first in their family to attend university. So almost half were the first in their family to attend university. We also found that a third were parents and the majority were female. This research was led by um, Dr Moana Theodore and it involved Professor Cindy Kiro as well. Hmm. Is that changing things for Maori? Yes, well other studies have um, told us that Māori are entering into higher education in higher numbers for the last 10 to 20 years, so this is really great news, which is why it's so important to keep um, supporting Māori students' education and success. Mm. Um, are Māori, sorry, are Māori still underrepresented in tertiary education? Yes, they are. Um, we found in our study that 7% of the graduates were Māori, um, and that compares to 15% of the New Zealand population. So that's again why it's important that we um, get a profile of who these students are and where they're planning to go to see um, what we can do to improve things. Mm. What is the overall intention for the use of this data? Um, well overall we'd really like these data to be used to inform research and policy in a number of areas. Um, so there's many stakeholders who might benefit from the results and these include um, students in the population who want assurance that a New Zealand university education mm. is high quality and that it will enhance career and lifestyle prospects. Um, also the individual universities want information on how best to tailor their courses and facilities and services um, for their students and the government is also very interested in um, optimising the New Zealand university experience so it's really a study for New Zealand. Mm. What would the next set of findings be about? Well we have actually just run our first follow-up survey that took place two years after the students had left university. Um, this is the point where things start to get really interesting and we can start to look at change over time and see how the participants lives are shaping up two years after they left university. Hmm. How much longer is the study expected to last do you think? Um, well like I said we just ran the two year follow up survey and in another year or so we're planning to run another survey which will be at five years post graduation mm -hmm. and then our final survey will take place at around 2021 where we will look at outcomes at 10 years post graduation. From the University of Otago, Dr Karen Tustin, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.